Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. Weekly Tarot reading, September 9th to September 15th, uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the cards as best as I can. And uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your Cancer Week, that is going to be uh, the Star card, followed by the challenges that you need to overcome here, this is going to be the Tree of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the guidance that Tarot is offering, uh, not the guidance, but the positive aspect that the Tarot is offering to you. That will be the Eight of uh, the eight of Wands. And the last one, which is the Guidance the Tarot is offering to you, that is going to be the Seven of Cups. Um, okay, so we do have a bit of jealousy here. We do have also a, a bit of envy, which are two um, similar things, you know. Uh, but uh, ultimately, at the end, uh, basically what that reading all to me tells us is that no matter how much one tries to be good and to satisfy everybody around, it will never be able to. I mean, it's impossible. So for that reason, one should satisfy themselves for a change. So before we go into all that and see how this week is going to play out for you guys, let's run the cards one more time. We do have the uh, star card as a general topic, followed by the challenges of the Three of Cups. Afterwards is going to be the Eight of Wands, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one here, that will be the Seven of Cups, which represents the guidance. All right. So in this uh, particular follow up and in this reading, the star card as a um, topic, it does point that you are to... Uh, uh, how do I display it? Uh, let's say that you are going to be quite excited about a particular thing, about a particular opportunity, about a particular love that it is for, uh, forming around you. The whole point here is that the star card gives you hope and gives you things that you are pretty much going to look forward to it to happen, to develop, you know, and that thing is going to allow you or is going to give you the prerequisites to start planning for the far future so it's going to be quite a, a substantial um a substantial endeavor of your behalf no different than um, having a, a new partner to date with all right no no different than being proposed with a new job no different than for example um associating yourself with a person that you pretty much enjoy spending spending time with you know and together you plan future vacations or you know a future enterprises that you both are going to experience now the star card always offers support offers unfolding love as well you know and like i said it offers hope for the bright future the very least the star card is a mark that your struggles are about to end 
The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Cups. The formation is a um, active neutrals. And the Nine of Cups here to the star card, it just points that it will be so easy, all right? You don't have to, yeah, I mean that uh, that exhilarating enterprise is going to de develop itself on its own accord. You don't have to think twice about it. For example, person that you like associating yourself with, you, you're not going to have much of a thought what you're going to say, how you're going to act, you know, because these things are not going to matter, all right? They, they will simply, there is, my point here is that there is nothing that can um, deteriorate that situation unless you decide to do so, okay? You don't have to secure it. That's my point. It is yours to develop and nothing or no one will be able to destroy it for you. So that leads us to the next card, which is the challenge, and that will be the Tree of Cups. So we do have a couple of challenges with this card. First of all, it is that this enterprise and endeavor is going to take time to develop, so you're not going to see immediate results, okay? And that is kind of understandable because, once again, the star card is about a long-term goal. It's not something that develops overnight or even over a week, that is. So if that is a person, for example, that you're going to start to date with, you can expect the dates, the, the dating and the flirting stage into one um, future relationship is going to be quite prolonged. Additionally to that, challenging is going to be in regards to the people that you are uh, peripheral people that you are associating yourself with, people that are not involved directly into this uh, situation. They will simply not be able to see the things with your eyes. They will not be able to place themselves into your shoes. In other words, they will not be able to share your vision. They will not be able to um, share your emotions as well. So, um, it is unlikely that when you, for example, share with a good friend of yours that you are start dating a specific person, they to say, I'm happy for you, all right? Because they ain't gonna be happy for you. As a matter of fact, they're gonna see that as a threat for two reasons, either a threat for you that this person is not good enough for you, all right? Or a threat for them that you are gonna stop um, attending to that friendship. The accompanied card here is going to be the Five of Pentacles formation it is a um, passive friends and we're talking about huge uh, sense of insecurity into uh, from uh, from these people all right uh, that sense of insecurity it may be because they think that you're not grown enough to handle it on your own and that they need to hold your hand for example or sense of insecurity that you're abandoning them all right and you um, no longer is going to be a part of their life and etc etc so why this is a challenge? It is a challenge because you need to prove them other way around. And now they're not going to be challenging in a sense of that they are going to deprive you from the opportunity or that they are going to create obstacles and plights for you. But it is just, you know, you are going to, uh, your actions even so no, um, intended to are going to make those people a bit sad, a bit miserable as well. You know, and as these are people who are loyal to you and faithful, it will be good if you try to do something to reassure them that that's not the case, that you are not abandoning anybody all right and that's uh <clears throat> everything you do is for your own good uh the next one which is the um positive aspect that the week offers for you or what the week is going to be uh how the week is going to be positive for you we do have the eight of wands so um you're going to be very objective when it comes to um objectives i don't know how to say it really but the eight of wands points that the week is going to be very dynamic you know many things are going to come around and go around in this kind of stuff and you will be able to very accurately differentiate from which is going to work out for you and which doesn't going to work out for you so in other words you are to attend only into those kind of tasks and endeavors that actually hold a meaning to oneself, to your situation, and that actually are going to open your doors and are going to basically allow you to improve either career-wise or either relationship-wise. In other words, the positive aspect is that you ain't going to lose, uh, you ain't going to waste your time with anything, all right? Whatever you do is going to be productive and is going to be very, um, how do you say when something is, is allowing you to grow? Efficient, maybe? Or productive is the word. I don't. I, I. I'm not sure exactly. Okay. 
and also additionally to that the eight of wands here points that you are going to be very very creative so if you are doing something creatively for for living you know or you're just having those kind of like crazy ideas maybe that week will allow you to will give you the prerequisites so you can manifest those ideas or manifest your creativity the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, five of swords formation it is a active uh, friends so uh, another thing that uh, you're going to recognize very well is where your uh, limits are sprawling to therefore uh, you ain't going to jeopardize nothing in your life okay you're not going to sacrifice something over uh, over something else so these two cards here are saying that you are to have the opportunity to expand and not to sacrifice okay um, you you will have the opportunity to gain something without paying anything in return uh, as a um, as a expenses yeah you may spend your time in it you may spend your efforts in it but it's not gonna be like you're dating someone for example and you have to choose in between your friend and this someone Okay, or you start a new job and you have to choose uh, in between staying in this state and, and, and working that job or something else. My point here is that you'll, you will be able to find a balanced, balanced standpoint how to have everything, at least throughout the week. Additionally to that, these two cards here are... Um, Pointing that odds of the other people, you know, opinion and vision may not be synchronized with yours is you you will not gonna care less about it. Okay, it is just this time around, what happens with you is going to be the important part of the week, not what what the others wants to happen with you. And the last card, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, that is going to be the Seven of Cups. Very important card here, guys. It does point that pretty much. Um, even though you do something wrong throughout the week, which is very unlikely, because like I said, you will be quite aware of what you're capable of, where your limits are, and etc., etc. Um, <clears throat> this card here points that even if you do something wrong, you know, the consequences of it are going to be just a, a mediocre disappointment, let's say, all right, and then another chance to do it right. So, that being said, let's say you date with someone if we're going with this narrative and you say something inappropriate that part, that that will be taken not in a such a fashion that this person is going to completely cut ties with you all right you're going to have a chance in another date or in a phone call or something like that to actually elaborate upon what you wanted to say and same thing applies to actions as well the accompanied card here is going to be the eight of pentacles the formation it is a, a passive friends that we do have so Whatever you attend to, okay, throughout the week needs to be accompanied with strong sense of conscientiousness, okay? And also, you shouldn't rush it, but rather, you know, think about the minor details that that thing has. It does require subtlety, the whole, the whole endeavor here that is marked by the star card. Take your time, okay? Take your time with the dates. Take your time with the new job. Take your time with the new endeavors and with the new projects here. Do the things the way you want to do them. It doesn't, uh, it is not about a, a success. It's not about is this thing going to happen or is not going to happen. It will happen. But the point is that it needs to happen the way you want it to happen. And you can do it. It may be with some endeavors. It could be through a, a trail, to, through a trail and an error a type of um, of performance but eventually at the end it will happen the way you want it to happen so in other words what i like to say is that you're gonna make what you want to make the way you want to make it so uh, what is more important than that what is more beautiful than that in my book nothing okay so yeah that being said cancer this was your weekly tarot reading september 9th to, uh, yeah september 9th to september 15th 2019 i hope you enjoyed and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then bye